one, action. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, All Things AXA, and I am AXA. It has been a minute, it has been a minute since I've been MIA. There's been a lot going on in my job. It's been so crazy. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but there were a couple of uh, boxes that I needed to check, conquer, and crush, which we did. And um, that's done. And so now we're dealing with some other new issues that are coming up. And so we're crushing that as well. But now I can finally focus on what I love to do, and that is hang out with you guys. And so tonight, we're going to do something called turkey burgers. Now, what's the big deal about turkey burgers? Not a big deal. Everybody knows how to make them. Big deal. So what? But I'm going to make them my way, and hopefully you'll make it that way, and you'll love it too, just as much as I do. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I go to the gym early in the morning. I film myself doing that at times, and um, that's going well. I will be going to the gym tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m., it's quite difficult for me to film since I go by myself and then put it on YouTube. So that's why you don't really see a lot of clips of me working out um, in the gym. I put them mostly onto Instagram. So you can follow me there and check it out there. Um, so far, it's been going well. So far, um, it's been a challenge at times. Getting up early at 4.30 in the morning, that is hard. But anyway, let's get back to cooking. Turkey burgers. Now I have one, two, three, four of these turkey burgers because as you know, I have an army here for family. So um, why don't you hang out with me and watch me how I make these healthy turkey burgers. Now, hold on before you say, how is it healthy if you're gonna fry them in the pan? Well, guess what? I'm not gonna totally strip myself of eating good food. I will watch what I eat, how I make it, but I'm still gonna leave a little goodness in there for me to enjoy, because after all, what's life without eating good food? I mean, really? You wanna eat dried up food? I will give it up in a second. I'll stay 400 pounds and I'll never lose a pound in my life. I love food, I love to enjoy food, I love the way it smells and tastes, and therefore, it's important for me to make something healthy, but love it at the same time. So hang out with me and watch how I make turkey burgers a la AXA. to this mix. I'm going to try to keep it a little simple here. Um, I'm going to add a little olive oil. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to, but just a little sprinkle, just a little, just a little bit. Magic. So you see guys, you see what I did? I went ahead and I stir fried the onions a little bit and now I'm gonna put them in here. There's still a little oil left in the pan for me to now put the turkey burgers and cook them. Like I said, I'm not gonna put them in the oven because I don't like dried up turkey burgers. I detest 
anything that's dry, tasteless, or rubbery. I'm not gonna eat it. This I'll eat. I stir fried it in the pan a little bit. It's got one egg and breadcrumbs. And so what? It's gonna be delicious. It's still gonna be healthier than a regular burger. And it's gonna be fantastic. And you're gonna see, and you're gonna love it. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands again because I touched my hair. And then I'm gonna mix it. So now once you've mixed the turkey burger really well, now you start making the patties. Take it, make the patty. You put them on the frying pan. And you're more gonna do that? A bunch more times. I'm not even gonna count how many more times. You'll see the end result. Oh my God. I'll be here for the next three days. So while the turkey burgers are cooking, and like I said, I'm watching what I eat, and I feed this good stuff to my family as well, my husband in particular. I'm going to make some chicken cutlets, but I'm not going to fry them. What I'm going to do, I'm going to season them with olive oil and vinegar and um, Italian seasonings, salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. And I'm going to let them sit overnight and then we grill them. Either you want to grill them outside or inside the house, it doesn't matter. But then I put it on a grill pan and I grill them and I serve them. I like to eat it over salad. You can eat it with um, sweet potatoes or asparagus or salad. However you want to eat it, that's fine. I like to make them thinner than how they come in the packet because I don't like thick chicken. Just I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so I'm just gonna, let me cut this part out. I don't like that. See that? Throw them in there. And then I just let them sit overnight. And then we'll have them for lunch or for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and then I'm gonna show you what I do. So I have a lot going on here. So how I like to season these is I like to take some red wine vinegar. I don't necessarily measure. I just go by, you know. Hold on, let me have you guys look at this. Uh, this is a good like cup of red wine vinegar and then the extra virgin olive oil. I would say about half a cup. That's a lot of oil. But it marinates in the oil overnight and makes it soft. So you're not eating dry, hard chicken. Who wants that? I know I don't. Black pepper. Let's see, put some of that in here. About a teaspoon. Italian seasoning. Now this stuff I love. So you could be liberal with this. That's pretty liberal. It's about a quarter cup. You don't have to do that much. Uh, I put some salt in. I'm gonna put a little more salt. Never killed anybody. Well, yeah, that actually does. But we'll be fine. Um, and some garlic powder. We'll put the stuff all in. Mix it all up. And then we're going to put it in the bag. So, let's just move everything around. And we'll... Staten Island. This is more. So we're going to move the chicken around and let it get all that good stuff in there. Now we're gonna take the chicken and we're going to stick it in the bag. Whoop. 
put it all in here. And it's going to, like I said, sit overnight. And if I tell you how delicious this really is, you're gonna keep making it over and over again. That's how good it is. I'm gonna take the rest of this, pour it inside. And then it's gonna marinate. Let's close this up. Now make sure that it's closed because if you go like this, everything's gonna spill everywhere. And you're not gonna be happy. So get all of that in there. And it's ready to go in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow when you make this. Because my family, are, they're like all over the place. Who wants corn on the cob? Who wants corn on, in a salad? So I'm gonna split it. If you want corn, you can corn in a salad, or you can just have corn on the cob. Um, so I have two limes that I just squeezed, freshly squeezed. I'm going to pour a little bit of this red wine vinegar in here just to kick up the acidity. Yeah, about a tablespoon and a half. And then, going to add some olive oil like I said guys I really don't measure about half a cup some salt and pepper tiny bit a little bit of this Italian mix And we're gonna mix it all up. And we're just gonna pour it over the salad. And we're done. So I am showing you how to make three, um, how to make turkey burgers three different ways. So on a bed of lettuce with tomato and avocado on top, one has feta cheese, red onions, and avocado. The other one is your traditional on a bun with lettuce and onions and whatever else you want to make. Now, I make a delicious pink sauce. It's just mayo, ketchup, a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. It is wonderful. It's delicious. Not entirely low fat, but the kids love it. I'm going to skip it. Maybe. And um, all you have to do is put a little dollop of that over your burger, just like that. If you don't want to eat it with a bun, cut the calories, it's delicious. I hope you enjoyed this content. I will see you on the next, uh, on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.